Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing today? I am back once again. Um, I do want to say thank you for coming to Celtic Intuition. I'm back to do another review today, another tarot deck review. And I'm here with Miss Cleo today, the one and only Miss Cleo. <laughs> I want to welcome Miss Cleo to the show today. I'm going to be doing the Miss Cleo Power Deck today. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the Miss Cleo Power Deck and that's what I'm going to get started with today. It is doing a review on the Miss Cleo Power Deck. Now I always said I was going to bring Miss Cleo back once again. Amazing psychic, amazing shaman, had a lot of, a lot of amazing gifts once again. And so I just wanted to show you what you can be seeing with this particular card deck today once again. Um, it's an amazing deck. Um, I wanted to show you the box. It's a very sturdy box. Um, very strong box. Kind of a cardboard box. And it really does show a nice, amazing picture of Miss Cleo. Um, just an amazing picture. And I, I love the picture. And I love the box once again. I got this particular card deck back in January. Now, when you open it up, it, um, the Miss Cleo de deck is actually designed by J.F. Lambert and Seth Stevens. Um, it's not really by Miss Cleo herself. Um, so it's kind of, you know, kind of different. It's not really by the person, not really by Miss Cleo. It's just her deck, once again. Now, you have a nice kind of little book here, once again. A nice kind of basic book. Kind of simple with... It basically kind of goes through and starts off with brief history of Tarot, Miss Cleo's Tarot Power, um, Tarot Card Legend. And it starts off with the Fool, goes to the Magician, kind of gives you a brief des description of what the cards, kind of the meanings of the cards once again, kind of sim simple basics. Um, kind of keeps it simple, nothing really big, fancy. And then it starts with the Staffs, the Cups. And it does give you the reverse meaning as well. The swords. And the coins. And as I'm saying, it, it, it gives you a pretty good... Let me give an example once again. If you're going to the Ten of Swords, it says a card of emotion, isolation, weariness, sometimes depression, physical pain, sense of being overwhelmed, bitter disappointment at the outcome of events, mental and physical pain may be present, a feeling of des desperation. And it reverse the temporary success and advancement of position. So kind of keeps it simple once again. I like that. Um, I don't pay attention to books much. I'm an intuitive reader. I pretty much get what I get out of the picture. And every deck is different for me. And I'm very accurate with it. And that's all that really matters today. Um, once again, I read differently. as just the different connection I have to the cards. So I'm going to open up the deck today. Um, now I'm not very impressed with the artwork on the Miss Cleo deck. I do get a lot of wonderful readings out of this because of the the amazing um, things that they do put in the artwork itself. But it's not the details they put in. I do like that. But it's almost like the artwork itself is not really the greatest. So good readings, just not the best of artwork. And so um, I'm going to do a shuffle test really quickly. These are very durable cards. Even if this card happens, I wanted to explain, if this card happens to bend... Um, it bends back. It's amazing. It just it straightens back out. You can just bend it back. It's just amazing. I like that. Um, it's a very thin card. Um, very flexible. Um, very durable. Amazing shuffle once again. I love the Miss Cleo Power Deck. Um, I give it probably a 5 for durability. A, a definite 5. Very flexible. Bendable. Um, for art, I'm giving us about, about a 3.5. Once again, kind of not the best of art. But for readings itself, I would definitely give this a 5 today. I might get wonderful readings out of this. Um, altogether, I'm probably going to give this deck today probably about a 4.5. And mainly what really brings it down is just the pictures. It's not the best of artwork. and you It's almost like you got to really imagine the artwork itself. Um, so I wanted to show you today, um, get started with the star card. And there's a lot of details. You have flowers, but you can't really tell which kind of flowers they are. And so if that's something that really could make a difference. Um, you get palm trees in the back. You get mountains. You get water. And it's almost like the star card. You kind of get the water bearer type feel. And I love that as in a general deck. I love that once again. 
the Eight of Coins. Now, one thing I like about the Eight of Coins is it shows six coins are already worked on, finished. You're working on the, the seventh one. And then the eighth one is going to be that new beginning. It's going to be your finished once again. And I love the Eight of Coins because it's someone definitely putting a lot of effort into something. Eight of Coins. The Seven of Cups really shows someone letting go. And if you're someone who's a Christian, this could be being baptized. I don't know why I get that with some of these cards. I'm like coming up and letting go today. Um, spirituality, Seven of Cups. Some things coming to completion. Letting go of things once again. And I love that Seven of Cups today. I get a lot of different amazing readings out of this. The Eight of Cups shows the eye, which represents suspicion. Um... Kind of the cup that's knocking things off balance at the top. Maybe a, a connecting to spirit, seeing things, insight once again. Insight into the, to the supernatural, into a relationship. See what is going on in, in a relationship. Seeing the truth. Sometimes I get this. This could be someone that's cheating and you're seeing what is going on. Um, the two of swords kind of shows the moon energy once again. The smoke being blinded. Uh, kind of showing, kind of being blinded once again. It's almost like... They're not allowing herself to see. They're preventing herself from seeing. But you see someone who's actually kind of showing them the truth. Kind of a friend who's confiding in them once again. I love this particular two of swords today. The not, the king of staffs could be someone with pain, back pain. Someone who's being stressed, exhausted. Someone who's overworking themselves. King of staffs. The Knight of Coins today, um, someone trying to reach out for you once again, trying to reach out for help, maybe doing finances, taking a step up. The Page of Swords today, you see someone drawing their sword, they're ready to give the truth, they're ready to just really fight once again, really to draw the sword of truth. Wonderful Two of Cups card once again today. The Page of Cups. And I like this particular page of cups. You see the tower in the back. It's almost like in this particular card, I'd get that the past is your destruction. This that's past. It's over with. You moved on. You're having a spiritual growth once again. You're, it's almost like you have this spiritual awakening. Things are really going for you spiritually. But your past, you had destruction. But that is over with. You moved on. So that's an amazing page of cups once again. Seven of staffs making a leap, avoiding a relationship possible. The Ten of Staffs is almost like in spite of you have a lot on your shoulders, almost like you're remaining strong, you're just as strong as can be once again, you're just continuing to go, and you're taking a step up. King of Cups today, I wanted to show you the King of Cups. The Five of Cups today. The Ten of Swords. The five of coins. Now, what I get with the five of coins is almost like you see the clouds, you see the eye represents suspicion, seeing what, seeing the reality, and it's almost like someone is sick. This a lot of times I get from this, someone is sick. They're having a lot of health issues. It's almost like they're sick off something. Someone's bald. This could be cancer. Um, this is someone who does not realize how sick they are. I've actually gotten that in many of my readings once again before. On the seven of coins, um, balancing a lot of weight on your shoulders, um, going through a lot on the path and the journey that you're on. I wanted to show you the seven of coins a little bit closer once again today. And the coins is actually the pinnacle cards, the world card, and not a lot to the world card today, but I just wanted to show that to you. The queen of swords, and you see kind of the clouds in the back. Like the storm is over with the Queen of Swords once again. The Will of Fortune. I like the Will of Fortune in this particular deck. And a lot of details to the Will of Fortune. The Eight of Staffs is aiming higher. Aiming higher to pertain to your goals, your desires, your ambitions. And I wanted to explain how it got that. You see the, it's the person's aiming. They're aiming higher. It's almost like they're shooting for the stars. They're aiming the staffs up once again. And they're about to, they're really about to throw that staff and they're aiming higher once again. The Emperor card, also known as the Father card. Wanted to show you that. 
it's interesting. It's almost like it shows someone with like a mop thing in their hand. It's very interesting. And it's something I've never recognized before. The Four of Coins. Um, show the Emperor card one more time. The Four of Coins staying grounded today. The Four of Cups. The Hanged Man. The Nine of Cups, Heartache, Grief, holding on to something. The Ace of Staffs. The Moon card, Dreams, Fantasy, Desires, Creativity, Imagination, Fantasy once again. The Chariot. And it's an amazing Chariot card once again. I, I kind of like this Chariot card. The Knight of Coins, and a lot of times what I get with this, I apologize, Knight of Cups. A lot of times what I get with this is someone offering love to an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or if this is not an air sign, I would go ahead and say someone is offering something outside of the relationship. If you're in a marriage, a cup is not being offered to the water, which is a relationship itself that's going outside. So this could be either or someone's offering a relationship to an air sign, or someone is going outside of the marriage and this is a third party situation. Can I see how you get that once again today? And been very accurate with the readings that I get. The Knight of Swords, wanted to show you that today. It's just almost like you're being offended once again. Serious offense. Maybe kind of caught by surprise once again. This person has not had their guard up. They do not have their defense system up once again to defend themselves. And they're being attacked. The Knight of Swords. The Magician card. The Six of Coins, someone definitely offering you help. You see someone who's rich, someone who's poor. It's almost like someone given to the needy once again. The Eight of Swords, you, what you do not see in this Eight of Swords is someone with with ropes around them. You see someone who kind of, uh, it's almost like they think they're in bondage. <clears throat> Eight of Swords, once again today, someone who is, who is in their own bondage, in their own mind. It's like mental bondage once again. Self-sabotage. The three of staffs taking a leap, shooting for your goals, shooting for your horizon, shooting for your future on your on the horizon once again. Really going after things once again. The king of coins, you get kind of grapes in there, which could represent things coming to fruition in your life. Maybe dealing with finances. The two of staffs making that jump, making that leap once again, taking that risk. The moon, so it's kind of similar as a full card. Two of coins today. This could be devour, self-devour. You're being devoured in your finances. Struggling and juggling, making a decision once again. The queen of staffs today. I like the queen of staffs. I wanted to show you that once again. The judgment card, a definite announcement. Moving a step up. Um... An amazing card once again today. I like that trumpet. This is definitely an announcement card. The five of staffs today. Someone is definitely just duking it out once again. I wanted to show you that. <laughs> the four of staffs. A celebration, a party, maybe a marriage. A festival. A birthday I've gotten in some cases. Page of Coins today, taking a step up, balancing, the, balancing your finances once again, um, trying to see what you need to do in order to bring growth in your finances. Three of Cups today. Kind of an Egyptian style, I like this about the Miss Cleo deck, as, as a very Egyptian style kind of feel once again. The Six of Staffs. The Six of Swords today, immediately when I see the Six of Swords, I'm just seeing stop, you know. I'm seeing kind of like, you know, the bull kind of thing right up there. It's almost like stop, you know. My, my eyes immediately go to that. The Six of Coins. It's almost like something is trying to get your attention um, with that red cloth. Once again, something is trying to get your attention. And that's what I would normally get with that. The Nine of Coins, the Snake Avoiding Calamity. 
many different details you can get with that today. I just wanted to show you the bird on that once again. Amazing details of the cards. Queen of Coins today. This is someone who's very seductive. You see kind of the, the seductive vibes once again. Someone, you know. The Empress card today. Wanted to show you the Empress card. Definitely an Egyptian style card today. I love the Miss Cleo Power Deck. The Three of Swords. The Devil card today. The Nine of Staffs. The Knight of Staffs. The Three of Coins. The Strength card. The Ace of Coins today, and I uh, immediately point go to that ring on the finger, and you're walking through a, a you're walking through a path of life, a journey. This could be a marriage. Maybe seeing the truth, what is really going on in the marriage, or having your eye on someone, maybe wanting to marry them. The Hierophant card today. Once again, you see the keys kind of there. I like the details. The Ace of Cups. The Six of Cups, leaving past memories behind in a relationship. The Justice card today. The Five of Swords. The King of Swords. The Sun card today. I love how the Sun actually kind of has hands on it. It's almost like someone is giving you recognition. Someone's giving you a high five. It's almost like, it's almost like the universe is congratulating you and giving you a hand once again. You see the Detaurus energies in this card once again. You see someone being empowered, being carried along once again. Just wanted to show you that. The Hermit card. As you see, you see kind of a border. I wanted to kind of just show you. You see a border around this deck. And it's almost like it this actually goes with the deck. It's kind of cool. It's almost like with this border that you have around the deck, it, it's not a big difference. So I just wanted to kind of talk to you about that. I will come back to it in just a moment. You see the High Priestess. This is a wonderful deck once again today. And it kind of gives it a kind of a cartoonish, anime type feel. It's, it's pretty decent. Kind of wanted to show you this tower card today. Kind of a cartoonish type feel. I like that. The Four of Swords. Thinking outside of the box once again. The Ten of Cups. The Death card. Seeing a very strong Egyptian vibe once again. The Temperance card. I love the wings on this Temperance card. Then you have kind of the Cross of Isis. I love this once again. The Ace of Swords today. The Page of Staffs. The Nine of Swords. And I like the Nine of Swords. It's almost like you have something that is stopping you, that is bringing you down low in life. But it's almost like you're walking through a door. And as soon as you get to the door, all you got to do is stand up. You're about to walk through. You're about to have this big breakthrough once again. And you only bring butt down right at the doorway. As soon as you get to that doorway, you can just rise back up again. So it's only a brief period of time. It's like for a season. It's like as soon as you get through that, you're, you're, you're just out of it once again. The Ten of Coins. Definitely family card once again. 
the Fool card. See the wine in the hand represents happiness and gaiety once again. The Seven of Swords picking up the pieces and getting away with whatever you can get away with once again. The Seven of Swords getting out of there once again. The Lover's card. And last but not least today, the Queen of Cups. And this is, I like this particular card. I get a lot of readings off this card, a lot of amazing readings. You kind of have the Isis cross kind of at the forehead. So it's, it's kind of like the third eye type thing, very interesting. But you also see kind of a spiritual energy passing you by. You see kind of spirituality in a fish and a river once again. You see the bird, which is almost like something is looking at you face to face. Maybe the relationship or maybe someone is trying to get your attention to get something from you. You see the treasure once again. Someone wants something from you. And it's almost like you're protecting this once again. You see who this person is. You see their true colors. And you're seeing that they're trying to get something from you. And it's almost like you're just kind of keeping it at a distance. You're holding it back out of a distance. So there's amazing readings that you can get with this. With the Miss Cleo Power Deck today. Now really quickly I wanted to go back. I was talking just a moment ago about the Borders. Um, the borders is an, actually an amazing border. It's really no big deal that it has a border. You could cut it if you wanted to. I, I personally did not do that. Um, but I, I, I love this. The, I love this card once again. It's an amazing card. So at that, I, I did say this a moment ago. I am going to give this about a four point five out of um, when it comes to reading um, altogether out of the deck itself. The reason why I get a four point five because I did have a three point five that I gave it for the artwork itself. Not very good artwork. I mean, it's pretty decent. It's kind of cartoonish. Um, I like that, but a lot of people do not. However, the, it's almost like the way you, the details of the card itself, um, sometimes it's kind of hard to see what kind of flowers is which. And there's a few things that's kind of, is this what this is once again? And so it kind of brings it down to a 3.5 when it comes to artwork itself. It's not like some of the other decks that I have. Well, let's say I did the... Um, the vice versa, um, the Celtic Trail, where it really describes things like, to a point. Um, it's kind of a little different. But that, that is a pretty good deck. Once again, amazing reading.